Good morning, Year 4. Um, we're going to be carrying on with our work on decimals and with our work on tenths today. And yesterday we finished the lesson by practising writing decimal numbers that were larger than one whole. So we're going to start with a quick practice of that. So could partner one pick up the pen? And I am going to show you a quantity of kilograms. I would like you to write that as a decimal and explain it to your partner. So let's start off with that. Oh, let's see. I'm going to do this. OK, there we go. So write it as a decimal and tell your partner all about what you've written. What do you think it is? I think it's 1.4 kilograms because um, there's 1.4 kilograms of sugar in it. And I think it's about 100. So the focus of the Year 4 lesson was developing understanding of place value um, with decimal numbers. Um, just working for the moment with um, whole numbers and tenths. So the one represented that there is one kilogram and uh, one. one. Yeah. I think we did it the other way around. Yeah. Four point one. Yeah, we should do rocks. Yes, because that's. Oh, you could write it like one. And in particular, I wanted to move them on from thinking about place value in the additive sense to thinking about it multiplicatively. So understanding that um, 1.2 is also made up of 12 tenths. There's one kilogram over there, see? And there's four one tenths of a kilogram. So the four tenths are... That add up to 1.4 kilograms. So there's four tenths and there's one whole kilogram. So it would be um, ten tenths point um, four tenths. One represents one kilogram and uh, four represents four tenths. So this is the third lesson in a series of lessons on decimals. Um, we have so far just been working with tenths and we'll continue to do that probably for the first five lessons or so before moving on to um, working with hundreds. One kilogram point four kilograms because um, there's one hole and um, four tenths. So who can come and write up on the board this quantity and explain to me why that is the quantity that I have represented. Santino, are you going to come and start us off? It's 1.4 kilograms because there's one kilogram and four tenths of a kilogram and, and four tenths of a kilogram. So that makes one Point four kilograms. Fantastic, Santino. Thank you. And um, Janelle, what did you tell us yesterday about the tenths? How we know where the tenths are in our decimal. The number? tenths sit on the right hand side of the decimal point. We all said that together yesterday because that was so useful. Let's all say it today. The, the tenths tenth sit on the right hand side, side of the decimal, decimal point. point. Rishi, what was that? The tenths sit on the right hand side of the decimal point. Fantastic. Here is my next number. Okay, off you go. I think 3.1 kilograms because there's one tenth and three normal kilograms. So there are three whole walls and then there's one tenth of a kilogram and that makes 3.1 kilograms. The three represent three what, um, kilograms and the one represents one tenth of a kilogram. Who represents that there are three holes and there's one tenth? I think the class is probably similar to many classes with children who kind of historically through school have um, attained um, a wide range of scores and tests and have had a wide range of um, maths experiences um, in the classroom in their perception of maths and in how successful um, they've been in maths. The three represents that there are three holes and the one represents there are one tenth. Isabel, why don't you come up and do this one for us? So you have three kilograms and then you have the decimal and then you have one tenth and then fantastic what does the three represent oh, but what does the three represent it represents that there are three kilograms and what does the one represent it represents that there is one tenth of a kilogram. Fantastic. When I'm asking the children to explain their reasoning, I suppose it's helping them try and get to a deeper, deeper level of understanding that's going to 
almost prevent common misconceptions occurring. This time I've not shown it to you, I've written it. So have a look at it, 3.5 kilograms, and I would like you to imagine that in your head. Can you do that? Can you think how many kilograms it's made up of? And how many tenths of a kilogram it's made up of? Tell the person next to you. There's three and five kilograms, and that, there's um, five tenths of a kilogram, so there's one tenth, one tenth, one tenth, one tenth, and one tenth, so that it makes five tenths, and um, I can imagine this for the three whole kilograms, that there's one whole kilogram, one whole kilogram, and one whole kilogram, so it equals to 3.5 kilograms. Three represents that are three kilograms, and the one represents that are five tenths of a kilogram. Right, Toby's going to come up and show us 3.5 kilograms and explain to us, Toby, why it is 3.5 kilograms. Can you talk us through what you're doing, Toby? And now I'm going to add up the tenths to make five tenths. Fantastic, Toby. Who can tell me what the three represents? What does the three represent? Piran, what does the three represent? The three represents three kilograms. And who can tell us what the five represents? What does the five represent, Sean? The five represents that there is five tenths of a kilogram. Fantastic. And how do we know that these are tenths? What has Janelle taught us? How do we know that these are the tenths? How do we know, Bo? The tenths sit on the right-hand side of the decimal point. Fantastic. So what I'd like you to think about now is if we partition up our 3.5 kilograms into kilograms and tenths of a kilogram. So 3.5 kilograms is made up of 3 kilograms and 5 tenths of a kilogram. OK? Can you write that, back to person A, as a number sentence like on the board? Look at the number sentence on the board. So if you did part, part, whole, you'd have three kilograms, and then you'd have 0 0.5 kilograms. <coughs> so 3.5 kilograms equals something kilograms. Plus equals three kilograms. Three, three kilograms plus five tenths. So three point five kilograms equals three kilograms plus zero point five kilograms or five tenths. Do you agree? Yes, yeah. I agree. Um, three point mm. three point five, five kilograms. Yeah, equal, equals um, <coughs> 3.5 kilogram equals um, 3 and um, oh, 3 and um, uh, uh, 3 no, oh my god <laughs> Plus something. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, three point five kilograms. Yeah, two point four. One. Yeah. One. <laughs> three kilograms. And. How many tenths? We've got five. five tenths. Good. And how do we write five tenths per kilogram? Zero point five kilograms. Fantastic. Okay. 3.5 kilograms equals three kilograms and five tenths of a kilogram. Thomas, can you talk us through that? Because there are three whole kilograms and then there are five tenths of a kilogram, which equal... 3.5 kilograms. Fantastic. Well done, Thomas.